Okay. Remember, it's important to save your progress within PhotoP. And now I have all these different layer assets. I made a duplicate of the tree and I started deleting away from it in certain areas that I think help the message. I have the cactus, kind of the prickly cactus, the baggage, the uh, figure of the woman. So I have all those layers intermeshed. So that's four layers so far. I'm curious if maybe I do the strap of the of the bag and delete that from the tree. So it looks like the strap's going around the tree. I think I might like that. And to make that a little bit more clear, I'm going to go to the cactus layer, which is here, and just delete around that little barb of the cactus. It's interrupting with the strap. Okay, then what I can do to erase out the empty space in the strap is use my magic wand and click on contiguous. Because what's great about the magic wand is it not only selects pixels that are there, it's also very good at selecting empty space. So if I click on contiguous and the empty space in the strap on the layer that contains that strap, which is this layer, then you can see that that selection remains. You can see those little marching ants there. Even if I turn off the layer, which means that if I change layers to the tree, that selection is still there. And then I can simply delete that empty space from the tree layer, which is the effect I want. So it looks like the bag is now wrapping around the tree. And then Command D to deselect. All right. Now we have speech bubbles. So speech bubbles, how do I want them? Well, first I can rasterize them. I can get rid of all the white. I don't want you to have any white in your images at all. So that whatever the background is, it comes through. Empty space is shown as a dotted grid in Photo P and Photoshop. My background layer didn't have white because I got it from Pixabay and it was a floating PNG, which is what's called the transparent background. If yours did have white in the background, you would just delete the white from your background layer the same way as we're doing it from each other layer. Okay, now I'm going to select all the blue in that layer and I'm going to say edit fill with black. Then I will deselect. Another way to deselect is to just use your lasso tool and to click off of the selection. Command D deselects and then using the lasso to just click somewhere off of the selection will work. Then I'll use the move tool. And now that I have more built up, I can decide where do I want this speech bubble? Maybe I want it over here. Kind of lined up with the tree. That, that kind of works. Let's go to the next one. Do the same steps. Right click, rasterize it, select all the white. Remember, you're just working on one layer at a time. Select all the blue, fill that with black. Black is different than gray. Just taking the color away from the blue wouldn't give me the solid black. I notice that there is, when I moved this speech bubble, there was a little white that moved with it. And that's because the white was off of the canvas when I used the magic wand. So now I can go back and delete that as well. But we'll, we'll look for things and tidy it up near the end. Now what do I do with this speech bubble? I don't actually mind where it is. 
I like kind of that double layering. So maybe instead I'll do Command J and duplicate it. That's the shortcut, but I can always go to layer and just say duplicate layer. And then I can move that duplicate with the move tool to another place and do control T to flip it, move it. The nice thing about these symbols of speech bubbles is they can work with lots of different shapes. and sizes. Let's say I put it there. Or maybe I'll shrink it a little bit. Avoid what's called what's called a tangency in design where things are unintentionally touching. And now within this speech bubble I am going to select inside of it with contiguous on inside the empty space, and then I'm going to delete that away from my tree layer. So it looks like it's overlapping it. And then I can actually delete it away also from the cactus layer. And then that makes me really picky but I want to delete that little bit of the tree away from the tree layer. So it's all about you know erasing away from the correct layers. So that speech bubble is more in front. And then my last speech bubble If I even want to use this one, I need to rasterize it. Use the magic wand, uncheck contiguous to get all the white, delete it, select all the blue, fill it with black, deselect, move it, hit control T. Can right click and flip it horizontally. Where would this work and make sense? So maybe there, but now I'm going to delete away from it in certain places just by lassoing and deleting away. Hmm. Here. And maybe here. So it feels like it's going behind. Maybe not there. So you can always undo with Command Z. You'll also see you have history. And so you can go backward steps and forward steps, seeing what you did. It only saves, I believe, 30 steps in this online version. And then I don't love the, ta the tangency here, how close. So I'm going to go to the, my tree layer. I'm going to lasso just this little branch and prune that. Okay, so we have these speech bubbles. I think I might, hmm, this is all fine tuning before finishing it off. If you're ever unsure, you can always duplicate. So I just duplicated the tree layer because I'm going to erase from the tree now. But I'm not sure I want to. You can always go back 
in your history as well. But I want to erase the tree branches just here inside that speech bubble. It doesn't really make sense though. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, just to even it out, is take this speech bubble, duplicate it, move it, control T, change its size, and I want this to be over and on top of some area. Maybe tilt it. So I'll try it there, and then I'll try erasing away from the tree. Again, on a duplicate layer, just on the inside of that speech bubble. Oops. So it can be hard to find what, what layer you're on. So I just use the, the eyeballs to turn them on and off. Because I want to select with the contiguous magic wand inside the space of that sh speech bubble then select the tree layer that I want to delete from, and then hit delete. Let's see how that works. And it kind of does what I want, but I think I want it to overlap the cactus as well. So I'm going to go back with Command Z before I did the delete, and let's move that layer. And I can always move this layer up to the top, make it easier to find. And control T. I think there will work. Now I want to select inside of it, then erase from the tree. Give some interesting shapes. Then maybe erase from the cactus as well while I'm at it. If I don't like it, I can always go back in my history. I think that works. All right. Just so that speech is clearly expressed. Okay, so sometimes you'll notice that the line art that you got, like this tree, isn't always perfect, especially when they're made as vectors. It's easy to have little mistakes in it. So as you're cleaning it up, you might find things where you can improve, or things you just find awkward. I think this horizontal is a little awkward, so I'm just going to select it. But then I have to find the layer I want to delete it from. So it's that one. So you just make your edits. I think inside the torso here, I don't necessarily need all this much from the tree. And remember, you can always zoom in so you can see the actual pixels if you want to for cleaning it up. Okay. 
So this 